Today's saint is Saint Stanislaus Kostka, a young novice from the Company of Jesus. Who are this Company of Jesus? Oh, you know them so well. Yes, the Jesuits. They call themselves with that name too. Saint Stanislaus had a great love for the Eucharist and a tender love for the Blessed Virgin Mary. He had an intense horror of impure conversations. Now, Saint Stanislaus was born on October 28, 1550 in Rostkovo, Poland to a noble family. His father was a senator and his mother was related to dukes and chancellors in Poland. Stanislaus was the second child of seven children and their parents brought them up as devout Christians. In 1564, Stanislaus and his elder brother Paul were sent to Vienna to study in the Jesuits' school for boys. In school, Stanislaus immediately stood out among the students because he was cheerful, amiable, and very zealous in piety. He was different from other boys, so his brother was exasperated with his behavior and began to treat him harshly. One evening, when Paul found Stanislaus praying, he gave him severe blows to which Stanislaus reacted and told him strongly that he would go away and never to return. Stanislaus left the school compound by himself. Not finding his brother the following morning, Paul went to look for him, but he took the wrong route and did not find him. Earlier, Stanislaus was already contemplating to join the Jesuit novitiate. He presented himself to the superior of Vienna, but he was not accepted for fear of the reaction from his powerful father. So, he decided to go to Rome walking. He arrived very exhausted on October 25, 1567. He asked to see the superior general who was the future Saint Francis Borgia. He was accepted and became a model of religious perfection for other novices. Despite his noble upbringing and fragile health, Stanislaus did not exempt himself from hard work and penances. On the eve of the feast of Saint Lawrence the Martyr on August 9, Stanislaus had high fever. He entrusted himself to the Virgin Mary and said he was going to die, but begged the Mother of God to take him to heaven on the feast of her Assumption. His prayer was lovingly answered. Towards the morning of August 15, his beautiful soul passed peacefully into eternity. He was 17 years old. Stanislaus stayed only 10 months in the novitiate but his exemplary life is a model for all. He was beatified in 1605 and was canonized on December 31, 1726. He is the patron saint of students, people with heart palpitation, and patron of Jesuit novices. Dear Saint Stanislaus, teach us like thee to shrink from sin, like thee to love sweet purity, that we from Mary's heart may win the love she once bestowed on thee.